Alright everyone, good evening. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley and we are live in Folkestone, Georgia across the swamp getting ready for a big Region 2A contest between the Clinch County Panthers and the Charlton County Indians. The girls game will be up first. Before we get started, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of the Panthers. Dorsey, it's her birthday today. Maybe she'll uh, Score about 30 points tonight for the Panthers. Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Coupa. Somebody said give a shout out to Coupa, so we need to give that. Go ahead and do that. But uh, y'all sit back, relax. When they start to make the announcement with the starters, I'll step back and we can hear it together. Uh, the girls come in. The Clinch County, the Lady Panthers are 12 and 0 and ranked number two in the state. The Lady Indians are six and nine. They played a really rough schedule, and over here in Folkestone, they always play tough. 
Uh, and then after game one, game two, we played the boys with Charlton County. The Panthers come in with a nine and two record. And the Indians from Folkston, they are 14 and Let one. Me have your please. We're getting ready. Y'all just Remember sit right back and enjoy. To promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators at all GHSA sanctioned events. Profanity, degrading remarks, and intimidating actions directed at officials, competitors, or other spectators will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal from the event site. Spectators are not allowed to enter the competition area prior to, during, or after the conclusion of the contest. Violators are subject to, for, to removal from the venue. Thank you for your cooperation in the promotion of good sportsmanship at the season's event. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. There's your starting lineup for both teams. We're getting ready for the tip-off right here. Y'all sit right back and enjoy. Give us a shout-out. Let us know who's watching. Fred Tiller said it should be a good one. Let's go. Good luck to the boys and the girls. Man, there's my main man, Fred Tiller, one of the all-time greats to play here in Homerville, football and basketball. We appreciate you tuning in, buddy. And congratulations on your nomination into the Hall of Fame, buddy. Well deserved. All right, here we go. Dorsey will be jumping, of course, for the Panthers. And number 35, Steele, will be jumping for the Lady Indians. Here we go. They have to jump. Dorsey will win it. Charlton will steal it, though. Here come the Indians. Number one, that's Garrard. She'll throw it up. She'll throw up everything. Mama with the rebound for the Panthers. The long pass out to Dorsey. One dribble. Can't get it to fall. Mama with the rebound. Up and in. Two to nothing. Panthers lead. They're going to jump into a little press. It looks like to start with. Number one, Gerard right down the court. She'll turn it over. Here comes Mama back on the other end. She's going to throw one up. Makaya with the rebound. She can't get it to fall. Dinesha with the rebound. She's going to pass it to Dorsey and out of bounds. Panthers keep possession. We are sitting right under a vent. Boy, I'm glad I brought a jacket. Oh, it is blowing right here. Panthers will bring it in. Micaiah will bring it in. She'll get it to my mind. Back to Micaiah. Long three off the rim. Won't fall. Dorsey with the rebound. Oh, she threw it right to number 11, Knox. Here come the Lady Indians now. Number 13, that's Farmer with the ball. She'll set it back up at the top. She'll go back over to number one. She'll, Panthers will steal it, so here they come. Akaya to my, my. 
They get it to Asia. She'll throw it up. Can't get it to go in and out of bounds. Indians will take over. Gerard will bring it in for the Indians. She'll get it to Farmer. Oh, it's out of bounds. That's another turnover by the Indians. All right, here we go. Micaiah with the ball. She'll give it up to Danisha. They get it to Dorsey. They all collapse around Dorsey. That's a long three. Got it. The Panthers, great job there by Micaiah. Panthers lead five to nothing. They got the pressure on the Indians. Oh, and that's going to be a foul on Mama. That's going to be her first. Good shooting by Makaya. We're just starting here in the first. Panthers lead five to nothing. Here come the Lady Indians. They're going to get it to number 11, Knox. She'll throw it away. My, my has the ball. Here come the Panthers now from the right hand to the left hand. She's going to lay it up and one. Good shot by my, my. Seven to nothing. Panthers on top now. Trying to get who the foul was on. Number 13. Good shot by my my. She'll complete the three point play. Farmer, that's her first. Panthers with the pressure. They'll make her make them throw it over again. Asia with the steal. Good save by Micaiah. She'll get it out to Danicia. Back over to Asia. My my with the ball now. Look out, they're going to steal it. Here come the Indians now. Nixon with the steal. She'll give it up to Garrard. Garrard dribbling all the way. She's going to throw up a long three. It's going to be short. Carlisle with the rebound. She'll put it up and in, and that'll be my mind. That's going to be foul number two on my mind. See what Coach Chase is going to do. Looks like he's fitting to get her out real quick. Like Can't afford to lose her. 5.31 to play in the first. Carlisle, great basketball player for the Lady Indians. In and out, can't get it to fall. Dean will check in for my mind now. Second shot on the way for Carlisle. Trying to get the Indians on the board, off the back of the rim. Asia with the rebound. She'll give it up to Micaiah. Micaiah back down the court, over to Asia. Got it to Dean, oh, Dean lost it. Dorsey saved it somehow. One hand will put up the shot, the other hand will be in hell. Good job by Dorsey, Garrard had her by the hand. Dorsey still got the shot out, got the shot off somehow. They're gonna say that was on Knox. Dorsey's first shot up and in. For the birthday girl, nine to nothing Panthers on top now. Talbert will check in. Asia will take a break for the Panthers. Second free throw on the way for Dorsey, got it. 10 to nothing. Gerard with the ball, she'll give it up. The Panthers all over the Indians now. Gerard trying to dribble through, they will not allow her. She'll kick it out. Number 11 back to Carlisle. Carlisle looking somewhere to go. She's going to put it up. She drawed a foul. Let's see if they're going to call this one on. They're going to call that on Dorsey. That'll be her first. Nixon will bring it in for the Indians. And they got it into 11. Good job, Dean will knock it out of bounds for the Panthers. They got it to Taylor for the Indians. And she threw it out. Couldn't hold on to it. Garrard, long three off the rim. Can't get it. Kaya with the ball. Here come the Panthers. Kaya all the way. Almost lost it. Oh! There it is. I didn't think they were going to call that walk, but they finally did. 
Panthers will take over. We're going to have a quick timeout. And we're going to hear a word from our sponsors, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. Newsflash. Great goings on at Walker Jones GMC. Right now, 0% financing the most qualified buyers on your new professional grade vehicle at Walker Jones. Like the new 22 GMC Canyon Crew Cab and Onyx Black with a 3.6 liter V6. Take advantage of this limited time savings extravaganza before it goes away. Come see Walker Jones GMC in the new facility. Memorial Drive in Waycross. GMC, we are professional grade. Walker Jones GMC. Online at walkerjonesgmc.com. All right, here we go. Back here live on Creek Box. Panthers leading Charlton early. Here's 10 to nothing. Dean with a shot. She can't get it to go. Got her own rebound somehow. Fighting in their fort. She'll lose it. No, Talbert saves it. Good pass to Dean up and in. 12 to 2 now. Panthers on top. We got a sub coming in, number 35, that steal in the game for the Indians. Asia will check back in. Makaigo will take a break. Panthers still in a press. They got it. There's another steal by the Panthers. Denisha, they're going to have a foul. I don't know who they called this one on. Let's see. Oh, that is Carlisle limping over on the bench. That is going to be devastating to the Indians if she cannot come back in. She is in pain, some kind of pain, bless her heart. Maybe she can get it iced down and get back in the game. That's going to be a huge loss for the Lady Indians. Great basketball player. Panthers with the ball and the lead, 12 to nothing. I didn't think they had scored. There's a pass, good pass to Dorsey down low. She'll lay it up and in for the birthday girl. And one, 14 to nothing. Panthers having their way early with the Lady Indians. They're gonna call that one on number 11. That's Taylor Knox. That'll be her second. Dorsey trying to complete the three-point play and it's off the side of the rim. All right, here come the Indians. Garrard with it. They'll knock it out of bounds. Dean will. Got number two coming in for the Lady Indians. That's Gordon. Number 11 will take a break. That's Taylor Knox for the Lady Indians. Charlton needing a basket. 13 with the ball. She's going to dribble. She lost it almost. Long three by the Indians. She miss it. 13 will throw it back up. She'll miss it. That's Farmer. Here come the Panthers now. Dean with the ball. Good steal there by the Lady Indians. All the way back. Oh, Dean will slap it off the back of the glass. She ain't going to let Gerard have an easy layup. Here come the Panthers back down the court now, leading 14 to nothing. Asia with the ball over to Talbert. Inside to Dean, down to Dorsey. Dorsey will give it back, got it to Dean. Dean's going to throw it up, can't get it to go. Here come the Indians now. Gerard had it. Oh, they're going to call a foul on number one for the Panthers. That is Talbert. That's going to be her first. Panthers have held Garrard tonight. She hadn't scored a basket, which nobody has scored a basket. There's a long three, overshot it. Dean with the rebound for the Panthers. Here comes Clinch. Dionysia bringing it down for the Panthers. He'll kick it over to Asia, down to Dorsey. Dorsey across, we got a foul. Three second violation they're gonna call. Kyle will check back in for the Panthers. Dionysia will take a break. 2.54 to play, and the Panthers have still held the Lady Indians scoreless here. I'd have never believed that. They have come out ready to play. There's Asia with a steal. Like the Lady Indians just thought the play was dead. Kaya with the ball. She'll give it up to Talbert. Talbert to Dorsey. 
Dorsey looking back to Talbert, lost it. Garrard has the ball, here come the Lady Indians. Good bounce pass by Garrard, they'll lay it up, can't get it to go. Kaya with the rebound, we're gonna have a foul. Do they call this one on? Number zero, so that's Nixon, that'll be her first. Panthers keep possession. Riley will check in for the Lady Panthers now, number 10. Talbert will take a break, 2.20 to play here in the first quarter. Kaya looking, going to get it to Dean. Dean, one dribble, almost lost it. She'll save it. Asia with the ball now, got it back to Dean. Dean dribbles in the middle of the paint, in and out of the basket, won't fall. Good job by Dorsey, will slap it away and get the steal. Gerard will steal it back for the Indians. Here comes Charlton, no! And number two will lose it out of bounds. Gordon had it, had an easy layup and lost it out of bounds. 14 to nothing. Clinch on top. All right, here we go. Asia with it, they got it to Dean, down to Dorsey, low off the backboard, she couldn't get it. Dean with the rebound, got it! Good basket by Dean, 16 to nothing now. Panthers on top. Gerard dribbling around, Dean will knock it out of bounds. Long three, there it is for the Indians. Finally on the board. Good shot there by number 11. For the Indians to put them on the board. Oh, excuse me, that's number 13. That's Farmer. We got a foul on the other end. See this one's gonna be on. Number 10, that's gonna be on Riley for the Panthers. Free throw on the way, she'll miss the first one. Panthers have a couple of subs coming in. You have Donicia and Talbert, Dean and Kyle take a break. 16 to three, Indians finally got on the board with a minute and 10 seconds to play in the first. Dorsey had it, she'll lose it. Panthers somehow, good job by Asia. You're not gonna take it away from her. Talbert dribbling, she'll lose it over here on this side. Panthers steal it back. Asia will, but she'll step out of bounds so the Indians will keep possession. 51 seconds to play in the first. Many will check in now for the Panthers. Dorsey will take a break. Gerard will give it back up to Farmer. Farmer over to Gerard. Gerard long three off the back of the rim. Farmer with the rebound. She's going to dribble around looking for a shot. She's gonna pass it up, number two with the shot. She can't get it to fall, another rebound by the Indians. Good job by Riley to get a piece of it. Indians still with it, Garrard finally on the board. 16 to five. 15 seconds, clock running. Denicio will bring it down, 12 seconds, 10 seconds. Long three by Riley, she can't get it to go. Denicio will throw one up, can't get it to go. Three seconds, two seconds, we got a jump ball. Panthers had the possession, they have 3.2 seconds now to play in the first quarter. Minnie with the ball, she had it blocked, and that's gonna do it. So after one quarter, Panthers led 16 to nothing, but here come the Indians at 16 to five. We'll be back in 60 seconds. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. 
Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue will satisfy your craving for barbecue no matter what you're hungry for. Barnyard Barbecue, Douglas and Homerville, Georgia. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salad, pasta, dessert, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy Daniel Munoz. Panthers leading the Lady Indians over here in Folkston across the swamp, 16 to five. Just starting the second quarter. If you just joined us, the Panthers, big block by Dorsey. Panthers jumped out to a 16 to nothing lead. And then the Indians finally got on the board with a minute 10 to play in the first. There's another long three. Off the rim, Dinesha with the rebound for the Panthers. Out of bounds, she saved it. Oh, Coach Chase called a timeout, great job. It's gonna be a quick timeout, we're just gonna stay right here and I'm gonna read off our sponsors. Man, if any of y'all would love to become a sponsor, if you'll let Daniel, myself, Miss Beth, Connor Johnson, or Lexi Handley know, we can hook you up. We have Big Daddies on Highway 84. Burt CPA, Camping World of Alaska, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Clint Memorial Family Practice, Clint Memorial Pharmacy and Clint Memorial Hospital, Douglas Metal, Mr. Ash and the Dairy Queen, Homerville Jewelers, Huey's One Stop, Lux Brown Insurance, Walker Jones of Waycross, Napa Auto, Savage Turner Law Firm, Dre Snack Shack, Barnyard Barbecue, and Pizza in a Waycross. Be sure to appreciate them allowing us to bring you some exciting region basketball. Indians finally get another basket. Number two down there, that's Gordon with the basket. And one. See the foul they're gonna call it on. Number one, that's gonna be Talbert. That'll be her first, no, her second. Coach Chase will probably get her out. Indians can't complete the three-point play. Here comes Mama with the ball down for the Panthers. 16 to seven. Charlton on a seven to nothing run now. Donicia with the ball. She'll get it over to Talbert. Good save by Talbert. Donicia drives in, trying to hit Dorsey down low to go off her fingertips and out of bounds. Farmer will bring it in for the Lady Indians. and Farmer will bring it down the court. Kaya will pick her up, there's a long three by Garrard, she'll miss it, my my with the rebound, here she comes from one end to the other, dribbling around, no foul, no walking, nothing, good job by Farmer all the way, can't get it to fall. Makaya with the rebound now. She'll get it out to my my, here come the Panthers now. My mind's gonna slow it down, back to Kaya. Inside to Dean, Dean hits Dorsey on the backside. Dorsey will throw it up and she'll draw a foul. No, they're gonna call three seconds again. Indians on a seven to nothing roll. After the Panthers jumped out 16 to nothing. Farmer with the ball. Quick and chill, get it over to Nixon. Long shot off the rim, Panthers with the rebound. Donisha with the ball. Come the Panthers now, she'll kick it over to Kaya. Kaya will get it to Dorsey. Dorsey dribbling inside, throwing it up. We're gonna have a foul. Good job by Dorsey. She does a great job. Making the other team use up fouls. They're gonna call that on number 35, that steal. That's gonna be her second foul. 
Don't see first shot, she'll miss it. Second shot on the way, got it. Good job by Dorsey. Here come the Indians. Oh, what a collision, Dean. Man, what a collision. She's gonna run into number zero, Nixon. Oh, lucky neither one of them got hurt. Nixon's shaking her arm, getting it off. Here come the Panthers now. Donisha with the ball. She'll get it over to Kaya. My, my, she'll get it to Dean. Dean looking off the backboard. Oh, they said she traveled. Kelly and Keisha said, give a shout out. Tinkerbell, let's go. Let's go Panthers. That's what they say. We got another walk by the Indians, so the Panthers will take right back over. Seventeen to seven, Panthers on top. Five twenty-five to play in the first half. Passing around, Dorsey's gonna pull up just inside the free throw line. She'll miss it. Here come the Indians now. Garrard, long pass to Farmer. Oh, another miss. Here comes the Panthers. A long pass. Dean dribbles all the way in. She'll miss. Kaya with the rebound. She'll get it over to Mama. She can't save it. Indians have missed some easy layups. They generally don't miss them. Gerard dribbling through the Panthers. Here she comes. She'll slow it down now. 4.50 to play in the first half. Long three by Gerard off the rim. Out of bounds. Panthers will take over. 17-7, 4.45 to play in the first half. Here come the Panthers. Kaya bringing it down. She'll kick it over to Danisha. My, my with the ball now. Danisha looking, trying to get it down to Dorsey inside. Dorsey will dribble. Oh, double dribble. She forgot she had dribbled once. Asia's gonna check in now, and let's see, Donisha will take a break. Here come the Indians now. 17-7, Panthers on top. Good job by Kaya's gonna steal it. She'll take it away from Farmer. Great pass to my mind off the backboard up and in. Good job by Kaya. 19 to seven now. Kaya all over again fixing to steal it. She got rid of it that time. Indians trying to get it to, to steal up under the basket. Good job by the Panthers. Still trying, the Panthers will knock it away. Kaya dribbling around, she'll get it. Finally, she'll get it out to Asia, over to Mai Mai. Mai Mai's gonna dribble in, got it to Dorsey down low. Oh, she missed it. It went in and come out. Dean has it. She's going back up with it. She'll draw a foul. They're going to call that on Nixon also. That'll be her second. Dean already with four first. Four points in the first quarter. Now she has five. 20 to seven. Second free throw on the way. Off the side of the rim. Here come the Lady Indians now. They need a bucket. 20 to seven. Panthers on top. 3.30 to play in the first half. Clock running. Farmer dribbling around. She'll get it to Steele. Steele, yep, she walked. She was trying to ease a little bit closer to the basket. She drug her foot. Molly Clarkson said, let's go Panthers. Fred Causey, let's go Panthers. This should be easy. 
Back in two. All right, here comes Garrard. She's going to pass it over to Farmer. Farmer lays it up and in. Pretty job by the Indians. 20 to 9. Kaya with the ball. Or Talbert, she'll give it up to Asia. Back over to Kaya. Kaya drives in, lays it up and in. Good shot by Kaya. Five points for Kaya tonight. 22 to nine now. Farmer, long three. Oh, it bounced two times. Oh, hard foul. They're gonna call that on Dean. I think I see who they call it on here. Oh, they call it on number 35, Steele. That's her second foul. Panthers lead 22 to nine, 230 to play in the first half. Dinesha with the ball. She thought about pulling the trigger. She'll give it up to Talbert. Over to Asia. Got it to my my down low off the back backboard. Carlisle back in the game for the Indians. She's not 100%. Foul on number three. In my mind, that's her third foul. Coach Chase is probably, yep, we're gonna get a timeout here. We won't see my mind for the, until in the third quarter probably. She has three fouls now. Long three by Farmer, in and out. She's all around it. It's went everywhere but in. Jump ball, good job by Carlisle to wrap it up. Every time she takes a step on that ankle, it, she just squinches with pain. All right, under two minutes to play here in the first half. Good move by Dean, can't get it to fall. She got her own rebound. Up again, can't get it. Got it again, she'll draw a foul this time. Four shots for the Panthers. They're gonna call it on zero. Nixon, that's gonna be her third. Asia at the free throw line. One eight three to nine now. Age of second shot. Well, we're gonna have a lane violation by the Panthers. So that shot does not count. She didn't make it. Gerard bringing it in for the Indians. Dribble from one end to the other, lays it up and in. Good job by Garon. Four points for her tonight, 23 to 11. Here come the Panthers now. Talbert with the ball. She'll give it up to Dinesha. Asia, back to Talbert. Back to Asia, good job by Talbert. Good pass, Asia will miss it. Dean with the rebound, she'll put it up and in. 25 to 11 now, Panthers on top. Garrard, she'll lose it, Talbert had it. Good pass by Garrard, she'll find number 11 down low, that's Knox. Taylor Knox with the basket, 25, 13, 55 seconds to play in the first half. They get it to Dean, turn around, got it. They cannot stop that. 27 to 13. Gerard Dimmons, she'll lose it. Dean with the steal. Dean coming all the way. She's going to lay it up left handed up and in. 29 13, clock running. 30 seconds to play now. So we got to see what happens here. A tech. On number one, Gerard. They're gonna call a tech on her. So the Panthers will get two free throws and possession. So apparently she said something. The 
They're very frustrated now. Panthers, that defense is working on them. Dorsey's first shot, in and out, can't get it to go. Once again, we want to wish Dorsey a happy birthday. Today's her birthday. And she'll miss both of them. Panthers will have possession though, 30 seconds to play. Dinesha with the ball for the Panthers. Talbert with it now. She'll give it up over to Dinesha again. Oh, got it to Asia. Asia pass over to Dorsey, off the backboard, up and in. 31, 13, eight seconds, five seconds, four, three, two, one, a half. That was a half court three point shot, but that'll do it for the first half with the Lady Panthers leading Charlton County 31 to 13. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. As part of our commitment to convenient healthcare and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. 
So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Newsflash! Great goings on at Walker Jones GMC. Right now, 0% financing the most qualified buyers on your new professional grade vehicle at Walker Jones. Like the new 22 GMC Canyon Crew Cab and Onyx Black with a 3.6 liter V6. Take advantage of this limited time savings extravaganza before it goes away. Come see Walker Jones GMC in the new facility. Memorial Drive in Waycross. GMC, we are professional grade. Walker Jones GMC. Online at walkerjonesgmc.com. Subscribe to the details. 
For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue will satisfy your craving for barbecue no matter what you're hungry for. Barnyard Barbecue, Douglas and Homerville, Georgia. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salad, pasta, dessert, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy Daniel Munoz. We got some shout outs. We got Gracie Daniel says, let's go Panthers. Lady Panthers on top, 31-13. Here we go, starting the second half. Mama with the ball. Good move by Mama with the layup up and in. Mama with nine points tonight. She had seven first half points. Here come the Indians now. They missed a lot of easy baskets that they generally don't miss. Let's see if they've tightened up and Gerard will lose it out of bounds. AC, I know you're laying on the couch now, watching Creek Box. You need, you, your supper better be done. I done talked to your better half. You better have something fixed by the time they get home. <laughs> There's a long three, my, my, overshot the basket. Indians have it. They'll pass it out to Farmer. Farmer coming all the way up and in. Good shot by Farmer. Farmer with seven points tonight for the Lady Indians. 33-15 now. Kaya will pull up, she'll miss it, and it'll roll out of bounds. Panthers will keep it though, the Indians touched it last. Good crowd here tonight in Folkestone, Georgia. Go oh, wide open, Asia, oh, she missed it. Nobody was on her. Dorsey with the rebound. Oh, man, they're going to call three seconds. Dorsey was trying. No, they're going to call an offensive foul on Dorsey, I guess. Pushing off. Coach Chase saying, for real, come on. That'll be Dorsey's second. She was just turning to the basket, it looked like. 33 to 15. Indians with the ball. Farmer dribbling around. She'll give it up. Garrard with it. Trying to get it to steal down low. Dorsey will have none of it. She'll steal it. Here come the Panthers now. Mama with it again. A right-handed layup up and in. Mama playing with three fouls. She's got to be careful. 35 to 15 now. Biggest lead of the night for the Panthers. Farmer with the ball. Big King, KB. I don't know where big, hit, big headed BJ's at. Good shot there by the Indians. They'll cut it, make it 35 to 17. Mama will give it up to Asia. Asia will miss it. Mama will steal it back. She'll lose it. Panthers keep it though. Man, you could hang meat right here. I got shorts on. It's 20 degrees warmer outside than it is in this gym, cuz. Dean with the ball down low. Good block by Steele for the Indians. Here comes Charlton. Dean, they're gonna get her for reaching in. That's gonna be her first. No, her second, excuse me. 35-17. Panthers now, you got Dorsey with two. 
Talbert with two, Mama with three fouls, and Dean with two fouls. Riley has one. Kyle, check out. Talbert will come in. Indians with the ball now. Looking, they'll get it in to Garrard. Garrard right back to Nixon. Garrard, long three. Boom! Got it. Boy, that was the NBA three. Great shot there. Panthers down there trying to score now. Dean with the ball. She'll get it out to Talbert. Back over to Denicia. Let's see, we got a foul. Number 11, that's going to be on Taylor Knox. That's going to be her third for the Indians. Panthers keep it. Get into Dean. My, my with the ball now. Talbert back over to Dionysia. Long three overshot it off the back of the rim. Here come the Indians now. 35 to 20. Talbert, good job. Talbert will tip it to Dionysia. And here come the Panthers now. Good steal by the Panthers. Oh, great job by Garrard. She'll pick one off and can't get the layup. That's been all night for Garrard. Let's see, we got a foul. They're gonna call it on number one, Gerard. That's gonna be her second. Man, she's missed some easy layups that she generally does not miss. Talbert bringing it down for the Panthers. She'll kick it over to Mai Mai. Good save by Mai Mai coming to the basket. Trying to lay it up. Dean with the rebound, she'll draw a foul. She'll go to the free throw line. Let's see if they're going to call this one on. On number zero, that's Nixon, and that's her third foul. Dean at the free throw line now. Dean with 11 first half points. She'll miss her first shot. Second shot on the way. In and out, can't get it to fall. Steal with the rebound for the Indians. Long pass, good job by Denisha. She'll knock it out of bounds. Indians will keep it though. Indians will bring it in. They get it in the farmer. She's gonna drive in, throw one up, can't get it. Good job by Dean, she'll slap it away. Number 11 got the rebound. Taylor Knox, she was gonna put it back up and Dean slapped it out of bounds. Farmer with the ball for the Indians. Wide open with steel. Dean comes over and knocks that one away. Good hustle by Dean. I mean, she was wide open. All right, there's a steal by Mai Mai. Here come the Panthers now. Mai Mai slowing it down. She'll give it up to Talbert. They find Dorsey. Oh, big collision there by two of them. Wide open. Farmer's going to lay it up. And in an easy layup for the Indians. We got one down. A collision, let's see what happened here. I think they hit face to face. I don't know if it's her leg or she turned it wrong or not. With that, we're gonna take a quick break and hear a word from our sponsors. We'll be back in just a second. As part of our commitment to convenient healthcare and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance, our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. 
With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. All right, we're back. Good job. Steele's going to limp off the court. Maybe she can... It's her left ankle, it looks like. It might be her knee, so they'll check her out. Maybe she can get back in the game here shortly. 35-22, Panthers on top, 3.34 to play in the third. Panthers have it. Talbert will bring it in. They'll get it right back to Talbert. Here come the Panthers now. Talbert over to Dinesia. Dorsey spin around, shot, can't get it to go. Dean with the rebound up and in. Thirty-seven twenty-two now. Gerard with the ball for the Indians. She comes to her spot, long three, can't get it to go. Dorsey with the rebound. She'll throw it out. Good job by Talbert. Talbert's gonna take it all the way, can't get it to go. Good job by Dean will pick it up and put it right back in. 39-22. Jordan with a quick timeout. We're going to stay right here, and I'm going to give a shout-out to our sponsors. We have Pizza Inn of Waycross. Great buffet pizza style. Y'all stop in and get you a piece. We got Scott Harper and Barnyard Barbecue. Dre Snack Shack. Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia, Napa Auto, Walker Jones of Waycross, Huey's One Stop, Homerville Jewelers, Mr. Ash and the Dairy Queen, Douglas Meadow, Clinch Memorial Hospital, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Camping World of Alasta, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Burt CPA, and Big Daddies on Highway 84. They probably got the game going wide open up there at Big Daddy's right now. Here we go, 39-22. Panthers with another steal. Dean with the ball, the steal. She's going to take the shot up and in. Six points here in the third for Dean. That makes it 41-22. Indians try to get it laid up. Dorsey will knock that one out of bounds. Panthers build back up to a 19-point lead now. There's another steal. Oh, let's see what we have here. That'll be a turnover. Panthers have the ball. And get it, got to get it in, got to get it in. She'll get it over to my my, my my to Asia. To Dorsey, Dorsey's gonna drive in, lays it up, can't get it to go. Dean had it, she'll lose it. Here come the Indians now, Garrard with the ball. From one end to the other, she'll lose it out of bounds. Be a foul, that's who they're gonna call it on. Dorsey, it looks like. 23, I mean, Dorsey, that's going to be her third. Two minutes, 10 seconds to play in the third period. Panthers leading 41 to 22. She'll miss that one, Carlisle will. Come the Panthers now, my, my dribbling. Carlisle trying to steal it. They're going to lock my my down now. Asia with the ball. Good dribbling by Asia. All the way to the basket. She'll lay it up. Can't get it to go. Got her own rebound. She'll throw it back up. Overshot the basket. Dorsey with the rebound now. Dorsey got it back to Asia. Asia will throw it up. No basket. Out of bounds. No foul. So here come the Indians. 138 to play in the third. Farmer with the ball. She'll give it up. Oh, Asia almost had it. Number two will throw it up. That is Gordon. She'll miss. Carlisle with another three. She missed it. Got her rebound and slapped it out. It's 
going to go off Dean. 122 to play the third. Carlisle throw up another one, can't get it, got her own rebound, missed it again. Asia with the rebound, she'll give it up to Dean. Here come the Panthers now. Dean from one end to the other all the way. Off the backboard, up and in. Forty-three to twenty-two. Now we're gonna have a foul. They're gonna call that on Asia, I'm sure. Yep, number eleven. That'll be Asia's third foul. And Mars says, way to go, Dean. She is doing it. She's lighting it up, darling. Gigi says, let's go, Panthers. Number 11's at the free throw line. That's Taylor Knox. For the Indians, first shot on the way. Off, can't get it to go. Dean will save it. Tried to get it to Minnie. Indians take another shot, but they'll miss it. Asia with the rebound this time. They'll give it up to Kaya. Come the Panthers now. Kaya over to Donicia. She picked her dribble up. Helper trying to get it to Minnie. Minnie couldn't get it. Here comes Gerard. She'll lay it up and in. Good shot by Gerard. 43-24 now. Come the Panthers. Dionysia with the ball. Gerard trying to steal it from her. Good job, she knocked it away. But here comes Dean driving in. There it is again. Dean with two, four, five, six, eight, ten points here in the third. There's another steal by Dean. That's going to make it 12 points in the third. And that's going to make it 47 to 24 at the end of the third quarter. We'll take a break. Be back in 60 seconds. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food, including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken, and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel Munoz up here, Beth Grady. And we are live here in Folkestone, Georgia. Asia going to throw one up, can't get it to go. Dorsey with the rebound. Quick pass over to Kaya, she'll lose it out of bounds. 47-24, all Clinch County. Dean has 23 points here in the game, starting in the fourth quarter. She's taking her a little break now on the bench. Gerard with the ball, oh, she'll slip down. Good job, oh, Kaya almost had it. Farmer will save it. Gerard, long three, boom! Finally got one to fall for. 20 point lead now, 47-27. Asia with the ball, she's looking. Good job by Asia, couldn't get it to roll in. Out of bounds. Gerard taking a hard fall on the court. Indians have possession. 7.06 to play in the game. 
Got a great boys game coming up next. It ought to be a great one. The Panthers are nine and two and the boys are 14 and one from Folkestone. They got the big six foot nine center. We got the head coach of Georgia's here tonight, Mr. Kirby Smart from the national championship game. I think he's here to watch the big guy from Folkestone play some basketball. All right, here come the Panthers. Kaya bringing it down for the Lady Panthers. Over to Donicia. Asia with the ball now. Asia dribbling around. Everybody leaves her alone up in the NO. We got a foul away from the basket, I guess. Or do we have a timeout? I think we do with that. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds, 60 seconds. At Burt CPA. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Here we go, Panthers with the ball. Good pass from Dorsey down to my, 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 I miss. Here come the Indians. Good pass. Farmer will lay it up and in. 47 to 29 now, Panthers on top. Kaya with the ball, she'll get it over to Asia. Asia will pick her dribble up. She'll throw it down, Gerard will steal it. Here come the Panthers, or the Indians. Gerard from one end to the other, good job. Five points here to fourth for Gerard. And a foul. Dorsey will go out, I think she's, they're gonna call the foul. They called that on Kaiga, that'll be her First. Good shot by Gerard. That'll finish a three point play for her. 47 32 now. 5 45 to play in the game. Good pass. Oh, Asia couldn't get it to go. Dean with the rebound, put it up. She got her rebound again, puts it up. She'll draw a foul this time. I don't know how she does it. Just. She missed, she'll get up there and get the ball and put it right back up. See what the foul is on this one. I'm gonna call it on number one, Gerard. And that is four on her. She got to be careful with 538 to play. Dean, first shot to the left. She's shaking her head. <laughs> Kind of laughing a little bit. She usually don't miss. She will at least hit the rim every now and then. She knows she don't miss the rim. Next one up. And oh, in and out. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound by number 11, Knox. Out of bounds. Let's see who's got the ball. The Panthers will have it. With 526 to play. My mile hand it off to Dinesha. Dinesha driving in. Good pass back to my mile up and in. Good pass trying to hit Farmer down the other end. The Indians were. Mm. Miss Carolyn Jones says that's what's up, Kirby. 
And Mar said, Dean girl, you on fire, 25 points. I'm waiting on them. She is. She is lit it up tonight, darling. Hope she can light it up Friday. 49-32. Gerard with the ball. She thought about it. Spin move. They're going to call a foul. Did they call on? Did they call it on Asia? Now they're going to call it on number four, Dean. She has two fouls. They'll miss here. Come the Panthers back now. 49-32, 4.35 to play in the game. My, my with the ball. Dribbling. She's going to throw one up. No, he called that on my mind, and if he did, that's going to be four on my mind. She's got one to give now. Farmer with the ball for the Indians. Trying to get it to Gerard Dean will tip it out of bounds. No, they said Dean didn't touch it. I thought she got a piece of it. All right, Dionysia bringing it down for the Panthers. The middle open. She's going to take it. Can't get it. We got a foul. Let's see if this one's on. And they're going to call it on two. They are number two, Gordon. No, oh, he said... Number three, Holmes. No, that's what I thought. Oh, Gordon, that's her fourth foul. 50, good shot by Denise. She'll make the first one. Second free throw on the way. Got it. Good shot. 51 to 32 now. Farmer bringing it down for the Indians. Coming to her left, right back up the middle, lays it up and in. Good job by Farmer. She's a great little athlete. 51-34, here come the Panthers now. Kaya with the ball for the Panthers. Dribbling around, and got it to Dean down low, off the backboard, up and in. Good shot by Dean. That'll make it 25 for her tonight, 53-34. Farmer looking, they do trying to hit number 11 down low, can't, that was Taylor. Dean hustling somehow, oh, and she'll lose it, run out of room. She liked to run over Kirby Smart down there, he helped her. Get a shot of Kirby Smart down there for the fans, right up the, right there on the seat. Turn the camera that way, right. There you go, right there. Standing up. Right there in front of Dean that made the basket. <laughs> All right, 55 to 35. Now we had a collision here, Kaya. She ain't hurt, she's gonna get up limping just a little bit. Number two got the worst end of that deal, that's Gordon. Mm. 55-36. Panthers with the ball. Mama with the ball. She give it back up to Dionysia. Back to Mama. Dean with the ball. She's looking. She'll give it to Dorsey. 
Go see back to my 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 my's gonna drive in, lays it up and in. Good shot by my my. 57-36 now. Long three by Garrard. She'll miss it. Mama saved it. Indians got another one. Now we got a foul. Let's see if they're going to call it on. Number 11. That's Asia. That's her third. Good shot by the Lady Indians. Second free throw, she'll miss it. That was Nixon. My, my, oh, she almost lost it. She'll save it. We got a timeout, an official timeout. Let's see what the referee's talking about here. October's shoe was untied. She got it fixed. Now here come the Panthers. Fixing to go under two minutes to play. 57-36. Oh, Lady Panthers from the get-go. The Lady Panthers jumped out 16 to nothing, and it really hadn't been close since then. Farmer with the steal. She'll lay it up and in. Good job by Farmer. She's the leading scorer for the Indians. Farmer has two, four, six, ten. 10. 15 points tonight for the Indians. Gerard has 6, 8, 10, 12 points. Good shot there, number 11. That's Knox. That foul was on Danisha. That was her first. Not to miss her second one. Got her own rebound, though. Oh, Talbert's going to save it somehow. Here she comes on the other end for the Panthers. She'll give it up to my, my. Off the backboard, up and in. Good shot by my, my. 59-39, 120 to play. Clock running. Dorsey with a block. Oh, they're going to call a foul. On the birthday girl, that's going to be foul number four, I think, on Dorsey. It is. I'm out with 17 points tonight. Second free throw on the way by the Indians and got it, Gerard. 59-41, Kaya with the ball. She'll give it up to Dorsey. Dorsey looking back to Talbert. Talbert trying to get it back to Dorsey. Farmer will steal it. Here she comes to the other end and she'll lay it up and in. 59-43, 50 seconds, clock running. 45 seconds. Oh, good job. Oh, my, my, saved it somehow. They're going to have a foul called on number two, I think, Gordon. That's going to be, let's see, Gordon. No, on zero, Nixon. She has fouled out. Thirty-eight seconds to play. We're gonna take about a twelve minute break and then the boys game, that is gonna be a great one is coming up next. My my turn around jumper can't get it to go. Panthers keep it. Coach Chase, I don't want to just hold it for a while. Let the clock run. 
Riley with the ball, give it up to Mai Mai, back to Talbert. Three seconds, two seconds. Shot clock violations, that'll be a turnover, but the Panthers are gonna get out of here with a big win. And now the big game Friday night in Homerville, if you can't make it, please catch it on Creek Box. But you need to be at the game. That thing is going to be a great one. Turner County's ranked number three in one poll, and we're ranked number two. And in another poll, the Panthers are ranked number two with Turner ranked number three. Christopher Knox, that's my niece. Go Taylor Knox, number 11. She did good tonight for the Indians. Taylor did. She ended up with four points. That's going to do it. The Panthers are going to win 59 to 43. We're going to take a short break and we'll be back for the boys game here in just a second. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack.
Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family, dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Newsflash! Great goings on at Walker Jones GMC. Right now, 0% financing the most qualified buyers on your new professional grade vehicle at Walker Jones. Like the new 22 GMC Canyon Crew Cab and Onyx Black with a 3.6 liter V6. Take advantage of this limited time savings extravaganza before it goes away. Come see Walker Jones GMC in the new facility. Memorial Drive in Waycross. GMC, we are professional grade. Walker Jones GMC. Online at walkerjonesgmc.com. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue will satisfy your craving for barbecue no matter what you're hungry for. Barnyard Barbecue, Douglas and Homerville, Georgia. Enjoy the Pizza Inn All Day Buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, 
the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411. Hey everybody, welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. We're getting ready for the boys game. The Panthers come in with a 9-2 record. And the Charlton County Indians are 14-1. Their only loss coming to Calhoun County. And everybody knows that Calhoun County plays some pretty good basketball. Jimmy Andrews says, roll, red, roll. Go dog, back to back champ. Let me have your attention, please. The GHS Stadium is the first school they announced to starters. To promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators at all GHSA sanctioned events. Profanity, degrading remarks, and intimidating actions directed at officials, competitors, or other spectators will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal from the event site. Spectators are not allowed to enter the competition area prior to, during, or after the conclusion of the contest. Violators are subject to removal from the venue. Thank you for your cooperation in the promotion of good sportsmanship at the evening's event. All right, Coach Terrence George and the coaches have met up front. I talked to Coach Terrence. He said, man, we've got to get the big guy in foul trouble and get him out of the way so the parents can 
the Panthers can get something inside. Let's see if we can do it. Miss Johnson says, roll, red, roll, go Panthers. We appreciate you tuning in, darling. We're getting ready for the tip off here. The Lady Panthers turned it on tonight and took it to the Lady Indians. Top scores for the Panthers was Dean with 25 points tonight. Mama ended up with 17 points tonight. With your top scores for the Panthers, you had uh, Kaya ended up with five. Dorsey had Good seven. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we'd like to welcome you to Charlton County High School for the nightcap of the Swamp War Basketball Edition between your Charlton County Indians and the Clinch County Panthers. Starting lineups for Clinch County. Number one, Anthony Ingram. Number two, Tucker Robbins. Number 13, Jeremy Bell. Number 20, Alvin Green. And number 24, Keegan Clayton. And now, the starting lineups for your Colorado Indians. At shooting guard, a sophomore, number one, Jarvis Wright. At small forward, a junior, number two, Jamari Bowe. At center, a sophomore, number four, Elias Williams. At power forward, a senior, number five, and your point guard, a junior, number 11, DJ Thomas. Hi, right. starting lineup for both teams. Bailey. Give a shout out, Miss Ann says, way to go, Lady Panthers. Now it's time to cheer the boys on. Let's go, Panthers. Ann and Smiley watching from Northgate. We appreciate y'all tuning in, darling. We had Smiley had a birthday the other day. We want to wish him a happy birthday again. Bell will be jumping against the six foot nine. Williams from Folkestone, Georgia. There you go, Bell don't even jump. He fakes it, he lets Williams have it. Here come the Indians now. Thomas with the ball. Said it was tipped. Thought it might have been a backcourt, but it was tipped. Number five will bring it in for the Indians. That's King. All right, they're discussing. I don't know what they're discussing, but now we're ready, it looks like. King will bring it in. He'll give it up to number 11, Thomas. Thomas back to King, back to Thomas. Thomas making a move, driving, he'll kick it out to number two, long three, got it! Hamilton with the three-pointer. Indians on top, three to nothing, they jump in a press. Green with the ball, Clayton back to Robbins. Here come the Panthers, the Panthers are in red, all red, the Indians in all white. Green with the ball, he tripped, they said he walked, that'll be a turnover. Thomas bringing it down to the Indians. And finally, he'll get it away, got it to Williams. Williams back out to King. Over to right, boom! Another three, back-to-back -back three for the Indians. Six to nothing. Panthers with the ball now. Robbins over to Ingram, back to Robbins. 
Clayton with the ball, trying to set it up. Indians playing great defense. Ingram thought about it, Robbins looking. He's gonna drive in, throw one up, can't get it to go. Ball tipped around, Robbins almost had it, but Williams will take it away from him. Oh, Bell got a piece of it. Maybe Clayton will come out and get the rebound. Here come the Panthers now. Clayton will give it up to Robin. Robin's outside the bell. He's going to make a move. Drive in. Can't get it to go. Here come the Indians now. Good job by Robin. has got a piece of that one. Ingram had it. He'll lose it. Number 11 will come in. Ingram draw, will give up the foul. And that is Thomas. So that'll be Ingram's first foul. Thomas will go to the free throw line for the Indians. I think we're gonna have a quick timeout. With that, we can go over our sponsors here. Man, they're the ones that make it possible for us to bring you some games. We have Pizza Inn and Waycross, Barnyard Barbecue, Dre's Snack Shack, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia, Napa Auto, Walker Jones, and Waycross Lux Brown Insurance, Huey One Stop, Homerville Jewelers, Dairy Queen in Homerville, Douglas Meadow, Clinch Memorial Hospital, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Camping World of Valosta, Burt CPA, and Big Daddies on Highway 84. We appreciate them being sponsored. Without them, we couldn't be doing what we do. All right, Thomas at the free throw line. For the Indians, Charlton up six to nothing. 6-11 to play in the first. Thomas, first free throw, up and in. Second free throw, off the back of the rim. Ingram with the rebound for the Panthers. He'll give it up to Robbins. Robbins out to Clayton. Clayton moves it over back to Ingram. Ingram hesitates, gonna drive in, nowhere to go. Got it to Green, up and in. Good job by Alvin Green. Indians right back down the court. Lightning speed at seven to two. Panthers thought they had it. Coach Terrence George is up, hollering, coaching them up. Ingram out, all on number one. That's right, right will throw it one, can't get it. But Green with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Clayton will push it to Ingram. Back to Clayton, over to Robbins. Robbins down to Green again, up and in. Good job by Alvin Green. Seven to four now. Panthers trying to cut back in it. Thomas will give it up now. To get it to number five, King. King will give it back up to Thomas. Thomas driving this and we got a foul. Coach Terrence said on who? I guess they called that on Robbins. It looks like Tucker Robbins. That'll be his first foul. Coach Terrence said he must have breathed on him. We got another foul. Let's see what this one is. That's gonna be on green. That'll be his first foul. Got it. Oh, got it to King. King up there, Bell. Got a piece of it, knocked it away, but we got three second violation, so they'll turn it over. Panthers have possession now. Bell got up high and knocked it away. Clayton with the ball now. Here come the Panthers. They'll push it to Bell. Bell looking. Got him up in the air. Off the backboard, up and in. Good job by Bell. One point game now. Seven to six. Panthers have settled down a little bit. Thomas will hand it off. They kick it out to five. Off the back of the rim. That was King with the long shot. He come up short. Thomas with the ball. He'll kick it back over to four. Williams, the big guy. He'll give it up to King. 
Back to Williams. Oh, and they'll get a foul on the big man. That'll be his first. Robin will bring it into Clayton. Back to Robin, back to Clayton. Bell has it now, looking all the way across to Robin. Long three, off the back of the rim. Bell up high with the rebound. He'll give it to Clayton. Clayton will try a three. Boom! Got it! Big shot by Clayton. Panthers in front, nine to seven. Thomas dribbling, he's gonna be pushed out of bounds by Clayton. Coach Terrence George just cannot take it. Bad call. Clayton had the lane, he had nowhere to go but out of bounds. Indians with the ball, they get it back out. Thomas with the ball for the Indians. He's gonna slow it down now. Nine to seven, Panthers on top. Oh, they're gonna have a travel, that'll be a turnover. Here come the Panthers now. Clayton with the ball. Back over to Ingram, Ingram. Oh, almost got it to fall. Long three, he'll come up short. Good job by Green with the steal. Here comes Clayton for the Panthers. Oh, it'll be knocked out. The big man got a piece of it off the backboard. Thomas all the way down. Bell trying to get it back. Couldn't get it down. Thomas with the basket. Here come the Panthers back down. Robbins driving in. Through the fouls on here. Number four, that's gonna be two on the big guy already with 3.08 to play in the first. We're tied up nine apiece. Robbins at the free throw line. First free throw on the way, it'll come up short. Every shot is huge tonight. Second free throw on the way. Jeff Brady says, great job, ladies. Now let's go, boys. Robbins with the basket. 10 to nine, Panthers on top now. Three minutes to play in the first quarter. Thomas with the ball. He's going to hand it off to two. Back out. That's Hamilton. Indians dribbling around. Thomas back with the ball. He's looking. He's going to kick it back out to Martin. King with the basket off the backboard. 11 to 10. Indians on top. Here come the Panthers. Clayton. Almost lost it. Bell saves it, knocked out of bounds. Panthers will keep possession. 27 seconds on the shot clock. Robin with it, he'll bring it in. Clayton driving, he'll kick it out to Bell. They're gonna call it on Clayton, boy. Boy, 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 that's two on Clayton, that's huge. 2.25 to play in the first. That'll bring in number five for the Panthers, that's Brown, T.J. Brown. Along with Bryant's in the game also, number four. It's hard to get these numbers, man, in these red jerseys. It's red on red. Terrence trying to work the referees good. All right, here we go. Here come the Indians now. The crowd getting into it. Thomas bringing it down for the Indians. 
Got a foul on number five. Oh, that's Brown. That's going to be his second. And that will put number one right at the free throw line for the Indians. 11 to 10, Charlton on top. 12 to 10 now. Bright out there, Dahl hopped up ready to play. I don't know what Coach Terrence is saying. He's hyped up too. Second free throw up and in for Wright. 13 to 10 now, Indians stay in a press. They've been in it all night. Here comes Robbins trying to get across to half court. He will. Good pass, got it to Brown. Oh! Got a foul on number four, Bright. That'll be Aaron's first foul. Let's see, the referees are up there talking. I don't know what they're talking about. Probably going to calm both teams down. There's a lot of mouthing off going on. The referee's going to bring the coaches out and talk to the coaches and say, tell your players to calm down. Coach Terrence George up there talking with the Charlton County's head coach. They're starting to get mouthed off a little bit. Now, I go ahead and tell you, Terrence ain't agreeing with what the coach is saying, they're both disagreeing. Coach Terrence Jordan going to take up for his team and tell them this is what we need to be doing now. Come on. Let's call it right. All right, here we go. 2.09 to play in the first. They've calmed the players down, calmed the coaches down. Let's see if we can get back started now. 13 to 10, Indians on top. Here comes Charlton. Thomas bringing it down for Folkestone. He's gonna go to his left, moves, he's gonna pull up. Got it! And a foul. They're gonna call a foul. Let's see if they're gonna call that on five. Man, that's Brown, that'll be three. Thomas with the basket. Brown will pick up his third foul. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Thomas will go to the free throw line trying to complete the three-point play. 156 in the first. Panthers just need to calm down and get out of the first. Maybe we get in the second, it'll be a little bit better. 15 to 10 now. Coach Terrence still working on the referees over there. Thomas will miss the free throw. Come to Panthers. Ingram will give it up to Bryant. Bryant going to bring it down the court. Setting it up. Oh, we're going to be knocked away. They're going to call a foul. So they call this on number zero, Martin. That'll be his first. Good job by the Panthers. Bell with the ball. He's going to dribble looking. He's going to throw one up off the backboard and one. Good job by Jeremy Bell. Fifteen to twelve. Panthers needed that basket big time. Gracie Daniels says, "Way to come back up, Panthers." Jonah Pittman, big man, needs to go ahead and foul out. Bell missed it, got it, lays it up and in. Six points for Bell now, 15-14, back to a one-point game. 
out of bounds. Indians will keep possession. Good defense by the Panthers. And get it into the big man. Get it out. Ingram all over number one there right. Got him there. Get Bell up in there. He's going to drive in off the backboard. Can't get it. Oh, man. Bryant had it. Stepped out of bounds. Tried to kick it back in. Could not. Raymond in the game for the Panthers. Oh, good job. Oh, he missed it. Bell with the rebound. Here come the Panthers now. Brown has it, driving in, can't get it to go. Bell will put it up and in. We got a foul. Let's see who this one's called on. No basket. T.J. Brown took the shot, went hard to the court. Foul will be on number zero, Martin. That'll be his second. Panthers can tie it up here. 56 seconds to play in the first. Oh, man, these free throws are killing the Panthers. You've got to hit these three points. Second shot on the way for Brown. Green will check back in for the Panthers. Bell will take him a quick break. Second one on the way. Can't get it to go out of bounds, and it'll go to the Indians. Raymond almost had the rebound. He lost it. Oh, with the bringing the ball all the way down here, I guess we had a foul on number 23. Raymond, that'll be his first. Indians already in the bonus. That'll put Jamari Hamilton on the free throw line. Jamari's first shot on the way. Got it. Good shot. Second free throw on the way from Jamari. Got it. Pretty shot by Hamilton. Gonna make it 16 to 14, Indians on top. 55 seconds to play. Charlton stays in a man-to-man. -man. Nowhere to go, you got to get it in. They got it into Bryant. Bryant pushing it. He'll get it across half court, weaving through two or three of them. Give it to Ingram, back to Bryant. Bryant dribbling, he's gonna look, trying to drive in, almost lost it. Good job there by the Indians. They're gonna get it up. Ingram will steal it, coming back. Panthers safe, no, he stepped out of bounds. Oh my, 35 seconds to play. Indians will bring it in. He'll get it number five and he'll give it up to Thomas. Thomas dribbling, looking around, looking around, 21 seconds, he kicked it out. Good job by the Panthers, he got it. Good, steal, here come the Panthers. They give it up to Raymond, Raymond to Ingram, Ingram got it. No foul, Coach Terrence won't a foul down there. They roughed him up, he still made the basket. We're all tied up, 16 apiece, but there'll be a foul called on the other end. Mm, all Coach Terrence George can do is smile and grit his teeth. They're going to call that one on number 20, Alvin Green. That'll be his second. That'll put Martin at the free throw line for the Indians. First free throw on the way for Martin. Got it. Good shot by the young man. 17-16. Thomas will check back in for the Indians. He took him a break. Martin's second shot on the way. Oh, he missed the old goal. 
Oh, Panthers almost throw it away. They kept it. Number 15 for the Panthers got the rebound. That was Demarius Magby. So after one quarter, Charlton County 17, Clinch County 16. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Newsflash, great goings on at Walker Jones GMC. Right now, 0% financing the most qualified buyers on your new professional grade vehicle at Walker Jones. Like the new 22 GMC Canyon Crew Cab and Onyx Black with a 3.6 liter V6. Take advantage of this limited time savings extravaganza before it goes away. Come see Walker Jones GMC in the new facility. Memorial Drive in Waycross. GMC, we are professional grade. Walker Jones GMC. Online at walkerjonesgmc.com. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue will satisfy your craving for barbecue. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Hanley. We are live way across the other side of the swamp. Oh, there's a steal, Thomas, for the Indians. All the way, good block, but the Indians will pick it up. The big man laid it up and in for the Indians. King did, not the big man. That's the other big man. 19 to 16 now, Indians on top. Bryant with the ball. Bryant with it, he give it to Ingram, back to Bryant. All the way over to Brown. Bell has it. Back to Brown. Back to Bell. Good defense by the Indians. Brown has it. Kick it back out to Demaris Magby. Can't get it. He'll kick it out to Bryant. Bryant will pull up. Ten foot off the backboard. Got it. Great job. Aaron Bryant with the basket. 19 to 18. Panthers staying around. They got a foul. They're going to call that on Magby, I think. Magby just leaned on him and got it called, and that's his second. King with the shot. Panthers got a piece of that one, knocked it down. They save it. No! Oh, he was on the line. There's another turn. Oh, Panthers had that one. Oh, man, man, man. Indians stay back down here. They get it to King. King will throw it up and one. And they're going to call this one on. I think that's Magby. If that's Magby, that'll be three on him. Fifteen, that's Maggie. No, they said that's two, so all right. King will make it. He got his three points out of it. 22-18 now. Panthers trying to get it across half court. They do. Good job. They get it to Bale. Bale throws up a three. Overshot. No, they said he traveled. Took an extra step. 6.46 to play in the half. Gonna have a 30 second timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue will satisfy your craving for barbecue no matter what you're hungry for. Barnyard Barbecue, Douglas and Homerville, Georgia. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. Indians pulling away a little bit now, 22 to 18. Panthers, everybody on the team got a foul, I think. King with the ball, he'll kick it over to Thomas. Back up to Hamilton. Drives in, can't get it. Let's see, we got a foul somewhere, I know, against the Panthers. You can need a calculator to add them all up. It, 
Another foul. Coach Terrence George is shaking his head. They're going to call that on Jeremy Bell. That'll be his first. Jamari at the free throw line for the Indian. First shot up off the edge of the rim. Jamari's second shot on the way for the Indians. Off the back of the rim, but the Indians got the rebound. Number one throws it up and there's another foul. Lord, 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 Raymond will pick up foul number two. Let's see, yep, that's his second. That'll put right at the free throw line and he'll miss it. Boy, I tell you what, it's a good thing the Indians not making these free throws. Hey, Bass Fishing says, keep on, we're going to foul everyone out. It looks like it, brother. Right on, make the second when he gets three of them. And he'll make the other one. Good shooting by Wright. 24-18 now, Indians on top. Here come the Panthers trying to get down here and get a basket. Bryant, he's going to get it out. Finally, Ingram with the ball. Bryant back with it, looking. Come back out. Great defense by Charlton County. Boy, they play some defense. Bell with the ball now. He's looking. Trying to drive in. He will. Looking. He'll kick it back out. Shot clock at seven. And the Panthers throw it away. T.J. Brown trying to get it over to the corner. Here comes some subs in. You got Clayton and Robbins will check back in for the Panthers. 6.01 to play in the first half. 24 to 18. Andrew Rowland says, let's go Panthers. Here we go, King with the ball. He'll kick it over to Williams, the big man. Back out to right, long three off the rim. Williams with the rebound, back to right. Right will drive in, throws it away, hit the security guard in the leg. <laughs> Woke him up, he's sending a text, it looks like. 5.38 to play in the first half. Robbins with the ball back to Clayton. Clayton trying to dribble through, he does. Got it to Ingram, Ingram coming in all the way. Can't get it to go, can't draw a foul. Williams, he's gonna give it all the way over to right. Oh, off the rim, King with the rebound. King puts it up and in. 26-18, Indians on top. Robbins across half court now. Panthers need a basket. Bell will fake it to Clayton, turn around 10 footer, can't get it to go, up and in. Good job there, and one. Lord, finally got a foul call. That was Raymond with the basket. They're gonna call that on Martin and that's gonna be his third foul. So Martin will have to take a break. 26-20, Indians on top. <laughs> it's a great game, Net, darling. It is excitement. It is exciting. All right, here come the Indians. King with the ball, he'll give it back up to Hamilton. Panthers need a stop. Thomas moving it around, there's a long three by Thomas. Clayton with the rebound, here come the Panthers now. All the way out to Robbins. Robbins all the way to basket. He'll draw a foul. Back to back fouls now. That one's gonna be on number two, Jamari Hamilton. That'll be his third foul. I think the referee thinks everybody come to watch him call fouls. Excuse me, that'll be his first foul. Robbins first shot up and in. 26-21 now. Oh. 
Long pass, King can't hold it, he'll lose it out of bounds. Panthers will take over now. Charlton stays in that man-to-man. -man. Nope, now they're falling back a little bit now. Clayton across half court, he'll give it up to Robbins. Back to Clayton. Clayton will pull the trigger, boom, got it! Big three by Clayton, his second one tonight. Two point game now, back to a basket, 26-24. Thomas with the ball, he'll give it up. King, long three, there it is. No, that's Williams, the big man with the three. And they come, and that's gonna make 29-24, 3.45 to play in the first half. Robbins trying to bring it in. That catch just hard to get it over the big man, Williams. Thomas all the way. Bella slap it outside on the merry-go-round, it looks like. Oh, they're going to call a foul. Man, I don't know. Who I guess they called it on Clayton. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in 30 seconds. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance, our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change. All right, everybody, we're back here live across the swamp in Folkston. We're watching a foul fest over here. Number 11 at the free throw. Thomas, he'll miss his first one. Both teams struggling at the free throw line. 29-24, Indians on top of the Panthers. He got that one. Good job by Thomas. 3.37 to play. Bryant back in the game. Robbins over to Ingram. Ingram to Bale. Bale tries to get him up off the backboard. Can't get it. Slapped up. Let's see what happens. The referees don't even know what's going on now. We're going to have a timeout. They're going to flip a quarter and see who gets it. He said it hit the top of the goal. I don't know where, who's it going to be. Let's see who they're going to give it to. Jump ball and it's going to go. Uh, imagine that. It's going to go the other way. Coach Terrence said, well, somebody slapped it up there. 3.23 to play in the first half. Thomas with the ball. He's going to drive in. He kicks it out to number 10. Long three. Can't get it. Bryant with the rebound. Come to Panthers now. Kick it back out to Bell. Bell over to Ingram. Ingram thought about pulling the trigger. He's going to drive in. Can't get it to fall over the backboard. Bell will knock it out of bounds. Indians will keep possession. Thirty twenty-four. Indians on top of the Panthers. 256. 55. Clock running. Thomas with the ball for the Indians. A long three off the bat. Can't get it. Bell with the rebound for the Panthers. Here comes Bell flying down the court. He'll kick it out to Bryant. Bryant will pull up 15 footer. Got it. Good shot by Bryant. 30-26 now. Panthers need to hang around here in the last two minutes. Just stay close. Indians with the ball. They get it back to Thomas. He's looking. Everything is set off him. He's going to drive in. Can't get it to go. Bell takes it away from the big guy behind the back. All the way up. Got it and one. Bell from one end to the other. 30-28 now. Great job by Jeremy Bell. Mm. 
How about we just caught? <laughs> hey, I think they're getting paid by every time they blow the whistle, brother. All right, Bell trying to make it a, it finish a three-point play and make it a one-point game. Off the backboard, we'll take it. Good job by Bell. Nine points for him tonight. 30-29, Indians on top by a point. How the Panthers have hung around, I don't know. They got it. Robbins will steal it. Come the Panthers now. Robbins bringing it down long past the bell. He's used to catching them bombs. He'll give it up and save it. Back out to Bryant. Bryant's going to drive in. Left-handed layup. Can't get it to fall. Oh, man. Come on, man. He breathed on him. He breathed on him, and there was the whistle. Jeremy Bell will pick up his second foul. That's, I don't know how Coach Terrence George does it. He keeps his cool somehow. Charlton's been in the bonus since, what, about three minutes into the quarter? Thomas at the free throw line. We got number 10 checking in for the Indians. That is Crib. Free throw. Thomas will make it. Good shot by Thomas. Seven points for that young man tonight. 31 29. Charlton on top. Ball tapped away. Panthers have it. Here comes Robbins now. Robbins got it to Magby. Ramirez will get rid of it. Bryant saved it. Oh, and they called double dribble. Bryant lost it, and he knew, but it, it just had an instinct. He tried to grab it. I'd have done the same thing. Coach Terrence George is hollering, thank, thanks, son. All right, here come the Indians. 1.25 to play here in the first half. Ah, right, he turned the ball over. Number five did King, so that'll be a turnover. Bryant will bring it in. He gives it up to Robbins. Robbins back to Bryant. Bryant, nowhere to go. They got it to Magby. Magby looked to get it back to Bryant. Long three. Boom! Bryant with a big three. Big three by Bryant. Panthers take the lead back 32-31. Thomas with the Indians has it. He'll pull up. 15-footer can't get it. Magby with the rebound. Here comes Robbins back under a minute. Now Robbins long three. Off the rim can't get it. Oh, Panthers, it's the other way. First time Panthers have been on top since four minutes into the game. Yeah, you're right, Scott LaCie said the gray team is ahead. <laughs> yeah, way ahead, you're right. King with the ball. He'll give it back up to Thomas. Shot clock running. Where to go? They want a three second violation. He's stepped out. Big three by number 10. Cribs. Panther. Oh! Magby with it. he give it back to Bryant. Boom! Bryant back downtown. Panther back on top. 35. 34, Bryant with a big three at the buzzer. Bryant turned it on with 10 points in the second quarter. Man, oh man, I need a break. I got to drink me a Coca-Cola. It's 35, 34, we'll be back in 10 minutes. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, 
salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll.
Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the games. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family, dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Handley, and we are live here across the swamp where the Panthers lead by one point. Well, I felt like we've been fighting all night. 35 to 34. It's been a great game. Some of the big the scores tonight, 10 points for, Mag, uh, for Bryant there in the second period alone. You got Jeremy Bell with nine points. Clayton with six, Green with four. Every point is crucial. Robbins with one, Ingram with two. Big score for the uh, Indians is King. He has three, six, nine, 10, 12 points. Panthers will have possession to start the game, the second half.
Blake Pittman says, go Panthers. Jonah Pittman, go Panthers and go Dogs. Got a bunch of people watching. We got about 600 people watching tonight. We appreciate y'all tuning in. All right, here come the Panthers. Ryan in the game, he'll give it up to Bell. Bell looking back to Green. Green throws one up, trying to draw a foul on the big man, can't get it. Let's see if the referees still got that whistle in their mouth this half. They were blowing it. Them lips were chapped from the first half. Williams with it. He'll give it over to number one off the back of the rim. Bale with the rebound. Back to Robbins. Here come the Panthers now. Bryant with the ball all the way to cross the court to Ingram. Back to Robbins. Bale with it now. Looking good defense by the Indian. Bale trying to drive in off the backboard. He'll draw. No, they said he walked. Coach Terrence just shakes his head. All right, here come the Indians now. Hamilton with it. He'll give it up. Back to Hamilton. Got it to King. King turn around off the backboard and one. And one. That's going to be on green. That'll be Green's third foul right here. What, a minute and four seconds into the half. You know, Coach Terrence down there saying, man, come on, he breathed on him. And just, you know. Hmm. We have to make it. Let's see, we got a buzz. We're going to buzz one in. We got 23 coming into the game. That's Raymond into the game. He has two fouls. Here come the Panthers now. 37-35, Charlton on top. Bryant dribbling. He's gonna drive in, trying to lay it up. They gonna see he's gonna draw a foul. See if they're gonna call that on the big man. That's foul number three on Williams. Let's see if they're gonna put him on the bench. He picks up his third foul a minute and 16 and 14 seconds into the half. Bryant at the free throw line hit two big threes there to end the half. Good shot by Bryant. Miss Johnson says, come on, Robin, give me a three. I'm with you, Miss Johnson. We need some threes. Good shot there by Brian again. Panthers, we tie it back up, 37 apiece. King with the ball for the Indians. Trying to get it to the big man. Good job by Raymond with the steal. He'll give it up to Bale. Bale from one end to the other, all the way. Off the backboard and in. Good shot by Bale. Panthers back on top, 39-37. Here come the Indians, long pass, Robbins. There's a block. Let's see who's gonna call. It could have been three of the Panthers. Let's see which one's gonna get called with it. 23, that is Raymond. That'll be his third. <laughs> Scott LaCie said the official think Kirby Smart come to watch him blow the whistles, I think you're right. Hey, King with a big basket. Good shot by King. 39-38, Panthers still on top. King can tie it, he'll miss it. Bail with the rebound. He'll give it up to Bryant, back to Robbins. Robbins will bring it across half court. Back over to Bryant, back to Robbins. Robbins, long three. Boom! There it is, Miss Johnson. There's the three you've been looking for. Panther still it right in bounds at 42-38. Robbins with it again. He'll give it up to Bell. Bell back to Robbins. He thought about it. He'll pull up at the free throw line and one. No foul. Coach Terrence wanting a foul. They knocked him down. 
And one down here on this end though, Terrence. Oh. They knocked Robin down so hard he's digging asphalt up off his knees. Come back on the other end, they got a foul. King back at the free throw line. They're gonna call the foul, number 13, Bell. That's his third. Robin rolled into the parking lot. Man. Another shot by King up and in. 44-41, Panthers on top. Robbins with the ball. Dribble around. Back to Bryant. Back to Robbins. Robbins trying to drive in. Ain't do nothing. He'll give it back to Bryant. Good defense by the Indians. They play some defense now. You got to give them that. Magby with the ball. He'll give it back up to Robbins. Robbins sees the opening. He's going to drive in. And one. And one. Good job by Tucker Robbins. Let's see who they're going to call that one on. We need it on one of them big ones. They're going to call that on number two. That's Jamari Hamilton. That'll be his third. 46-41. Panthers on top. Martin will come in for Hamilton. See if Robin, boy, these free throws are crucial for the Panthers. We need to hit them this half. You got to. There it is. Got it. Good job, Tucker. 47-41 now. Here come the Indians. Thomas bringing it down. He'll give it up to number one. He pulls up. Good shot there by Wright with the basket. 47-43. Panthers on top. Robbins with the ball. He'll come back. Robbins, good move. He'll pull up at the free throw line. Can't get the roll. Big man, Magby with it. Oh, no foul. Terrence wanted a foul on Magby. Look out. Oh, he did. He walked. Oh, I thought Wright was going to shoot the three-pointer. He wished he had a. He <laughs> that too quick, but that is the truth. <laughs> hey. Let's see, here we go. Oh, good steal by the, oh, Panthers got it back somehow. Here comes Bryant. No foul on this end. Man, they robbed him. Indians, Thomas will lay it up and in. 47-45, Panthers holding to a two-point lead. Robbins trying to drive, can't get it. Magby turn around, can't get it. Here come the Indians, they can tie it up now or take the lead. Thomas all the way in, he'll miss it, no foul. Here come the Panthers now, they're gonna have to slow down, I'm give out of breath, I know they are. Robbins with it, he'll get it to Magby. Magby back out to Raymond. Bryant with it now. DJ Magby with the ball. They got him, he give it to Raymond. Raymond found Tucker somehow. Tucker's going to throw up a three. Got it, another three by Tucker Robbins. Another one. 50 to 45, Robbins on fire. That's two threes here in the third. What well, we got, a three second violation on the Indians. Now Charlton's coach. Referee says, I don't want to hear it now. Panthers will take it over. The Clinch County Panther fans are on their feet. Now they're rooting and hollering. Robbins bringing it down for the Panthers. 3.20 to play in the third. Good move by Robbins. Got it in Ingram, back to Robbins. Robbins looking, good pass down low! Up and in from Raymond! Good pass from Tucker Robbins. Here come Thomas, he'll miss it. Magby with the rebound. Raymond on the other end, up and in, back to back. 
Raymond Charlton said, I've seen enough. We need a break. 60 seconds. We'll be back in just a minute. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy Dan Munoz up here. I tell you what, the Indians ain't out. They got weapons everywhere. They're gonna make a run. The Panthers just have to hold on because they're not done uh, by no means. All right, here come the Indians. King with it. He'll give it up to Williams. Long three, there it is. Good shot by Wright. 54-48, knocked out of bounds. There's a turnover by the Panthers. Just that quick. Thomas with the ball, he'll give it back up to one. He tried another one, Ingram with the rebound. Panthers got to get it across half court. Robbins with it now, he'll race and he does. Robbins with the long three, boom! Got it again! His third one of the third quarter. 57-48, here come the Indians back. Williams with it, looking, he's gonna give it up to Thomas. Gonna drive in, he loses it, Robbins slaps it away, Panthers have it. Jump ball, Indians will keep possession. Bright is going to check in. Let's see who's going to take a break for the Panthers. Man, what a third quarter for Tucker Robbins. 9, 12, 14 points in the third for Tucker. He had one point at halftime. I don't know what they said at half, but it sure did work. Thomas, long pass. They got it a minute and 45. Thomas, long three. Boom! Thomas with a big basket. 57-51, Robin back across half court. He'll hand it off to Bryant. Bryant trying to pull him out to make it lane. Good defense by the Indians. They got it to Magby. Magby, Demiris got rid of it. Give it up to Ingram. Ingram looking, he's gonna pull up off the rim. Can't get it, Ingram got his own rebound. He gonna go in, no foul. Let's see, no, what happened? Did he step on the line? He must have stepped on the line. There's 22 seconds on the shot clock, 110 in the quarter left. Bryant's gonna bring it in, got to get it. He does, he finds Raymond. Raymond will hand it off to Robbins. Good move by Robbins, he tried to get him up, couldn't, got it to Raymond, back to Robbins. Robbins, long three, foul, oh boy, got it again. Got it again, 60 to 51. Man, you've got to put two more on him. He's just throwing them up from half court. There's a long three, off the rim, Robbins with the rebound. He'll give it up. Oh, no, no, no. Robbins was dribbling the ball when he went down to one knee. Man. Alan Clinton says, Tucker Robbins is on fire. You right. 
30 seconds to play. Panthers up by nine, 60 to 51. Shot clock, no factor here. They went, oh, he traveled. Oh boy, he would have hit it too. That was right. He's hit a couple of them tonight for the Indians. 23 seconds to play. Robbins on fire. I've run out of room in the little quarter. I've got to find some more room for Robbins, which we're almost done in the third quarter. Bryant with the ball. Bryant going to slow it down. He finds Tucker. We want Tucker to take the last shot. Oh, that's the first one he missed out of the last four. Five seconds, three seconds, two, one. No basket. What a third quarter for the Panthers. Clinch County 60, Charlton County 51. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care... Alright everybody, we've caught our breath. The Panthers scored 21-2. 26 points in the third. Tucker Robbins had 17. It's 60 to 51. Panthers on top. Clayton takes a shot. Good block there by number four. That's Williams. All your cards are in now. You've made it to the fourth period. Don't matter whether you foul out, the big man will put it up and they're going to call one. Uh. Williams with the basket. The Panthers have held him to three, four, five points tonight. He's playing with three fouls. Number 20 had that foul. That's green. That's his fourth. Free throw on the way. Got it. Good shot by Williams. Sick for him tonight. Indians back in that man-to-man -man press. Clayton will bring it down, 60 to 54. Clayton with it, nobody got to help him, he got it to Bell. Bell will bring it back out and slow it down. Trying to create a lane, he does, oh! Trying to pass it, whoo! Williams knocked it out of bounds, Panthers will keep possession, 17 on the shot clock. Arnesia Richens says Tucker's on fire, he was, darling. That's probably the best quarter of basketball I've seen in a long time by a Panther individual. Brian will save it. Bell with the ball. He'll hand it back off to Brian. Back to Bell. Bell looking. He's going to drive in, and Williams will slap it out of bounds. Man, it's just hard to get anything in over the big guy, 6'9". Jimmy Andrews says, come on, boys, one more quarter. Here we go, trying to bring it in, long pass. Good job by Bell to get it. Picks his dribble up, he'll give it to Clayton. 10 on the shot clock now. Eight, seven. Five, Clayton looking, you got to get it off Clayton, he does, and Williams got a piece of it. And that'll be a shot clock violation, Panthers will turn it over, you just, <laughs> Williams, when he holds that big arm up, he's 10 foot tall. 6.43 to play, Robbins will check back in, took him a quick breather, 
DJ Magby will get on the bench. Coach Terrence has done an excellent job, man. The boys, they started out in foul trouble. How the Panthers have hung around, I have no idea. They get it to King, back out to Williams, all the way across to Thomas. Thomas will drive in, trying to get it to King. It'll miss it. Robbins with the ball. He's going to slow it down, got it to Raymond. Raymond to Clayton, back to Robbins now. Robbins will drive in over the big man, can't get it. Raymond with the rebound. Robbins down hard. He got up, knocked the breath out of him. He gets up though. Thomas all the way, oh! He'll miss that, it looked like he tried to intentionally come back and use his body to block. Let's see who they called it on. They did, they called it on Thomas, they seen that. That's foul number four, that is a huge foul on Thomas. No, foul number two, my bad. Oh, man, Robbins tried to save it, couldn't it'll go out of bounds. 60 to 54, Panthers on top, six minutes exactly to play. Callie Chancey says, let's go Panthers, you got this. Martin back in the game, he's playing with four fouls. He'll hand it off to two, a drive around, and he'll lay it up and in. Good shot by Jamari Hamilton. 60 to 56. Oh, Bell goes down hard. They got a foul, let's see who they call it on the big man. Boy, 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 that's number four. That's, that's King, that's his second, it wasn't on Williams. Oh man, Bell's got, oh, good job. Williams got a piece of it, bringing it in bounds, and I thought Bell saved it. There's a long three, boom, got it. King with a three. One point game now, 60 to 59. I told you the Indians were coming. And they go looking. Clayton with the ball, they give it back to Bryant, back to Bell. Over to Robbins. Robbins looking, dribbling around, you just can't, man. Robbins turn around, can't get it to fall. King saved it, oh, he stepped on the line. Teresa and Damon Chancey says, fight hard Panthers, they got to. There's any fight left in them, Ingram will check back in. Raymond will sit down. Man, it's just so hard to inbound the ball. Good job by Tucker. Tucker was telling the referee, man, he ain't giving me no room. He just takes up a lot of space. Good pass by Tucker. Couldn't get it to go in. Here comes Martin on the other end. He'll slow down. Oh, good job by Clayton. Got a piece of it. Oh, man, 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 man. Bell breathed on him and they called a foul. Oh, that'll be four fouls on Bell now. Let's see what Coach Terrence is gonna do. King back at the free throw line. Bell with four fouls. Coach Terrence wants a 30 second timeout. We'll take a break, we'll be back in just a second. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. Oh, 
All right, here we go. King at the free throw line, and he'll make it. Three-point play, Charlton 62, Clint 60. And another steal, lays it up and in. 64 to 60. Clayton with the ball. Panthers need a basket now. Clayton over to Ingram. Got it to Robbins, and the Panthers will lose it. Here come the Indians all the way up and in. 66 to 69. We got a foul on Martin. That'll be foul number four. On Martin and Robbins. Clayton will bring it in. The Panthers just I tell you what, Charlton's got a great team over here in their house. It's loud. Panthers have fought them claw for claw. Just can't catch it, catch a break. Here we go. Bryant with the ball. Can get it to Ingram. Ingram thought about it. He's going to drive in. Good pass back door. He traveled. He got two. Here comes Green back in the game with four fouls. Nagby will take a break. Clock running 404, 403, 402. Here we go. Carlos Likely says, let's go Panther. Here we go. Thomas will dump it off to two. Good move. Oh, can't get it to go. Green with the rebound. Robbins all over him. He can't do nothing. Finally calls a foul. Oh, they called it on Tucker. What is the call? Tucker was giving him a piggyback ride down the court. Terrence Jones don't know what to do. Carolyn Jones says, let's go Panthers, and we're used to playing the refs. Hey. Neilbert, <laughs> you talking about Blake Pittman? We got a timeout. We're going to stay right here so I can give a shot. I can mention the sponsors where I can still talk. I want to remind everybody, Friday is just as big a game in Homerville, please. It's going to be sold out. If y'all can't make it, we'll be live here on Creek Box. We have Big Daddies on Highway 84, Burt, CPA, Camping World of Alasta, Bippy K, and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia. Clint's Memorial Family Practice, Clint's Memorial Pharmacy, Clint's Memorial Hospital, Douglas Meadow. Dairy Queen in Homerville, Homerville Jewelers, Huey's One Stop, Lutz Brown Insurance, Walker Jones and Waycross, Napa Auto, Savage Turner Law Firm, Dre Snack Shack, Barnyard Barbecue, and Pizza Inn and Waycross. All right, here we go. Indians with the ball and the lead. They get it. The King, King will miss it. And of course, that's going to be a foul. Anytime the big man goes up, and that's going to do it for number 20. Alvin Green will foul out, I think. Yep. Alvin will finish up with four points. Man, he had three fouls in the first quarter. He couldn't do nothing. Hey. Blake Pittman said those are. Horrible call, Frank. <laughs> Great call, looks bad, but it's the right call, Gary Franklin said. Once the defender shields himself with the body, it's an offensive foul. I haven't seen the whole game, but that was the right call. And it, that's what was going on, brother, so it's just the whole thing leading up to it. All right, here we go, 68-60. Panthers need a basket now. They've got to hang around if they're going to have a chance. Time is coming out. Robbins finally will get it laid up and in. That's the first basket with 3.18 to play in the fourth. So King, he's killing the Panthers down low. It's been the King show. Panthers come back. No foul. We'll lay it up and in by Raymond. Raymond with a basket. 
70 to 64. Panthers fight. Everybody on the on the pant, everybody's got three fouls. There's a couple of them out there with four. Bell on the bench. How long will he leave him? There's a big three by the big man, number five. Or no, 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 that was King, number five, with a big shot. Panthers missing on this end, 73-64. Carlos Lackley says these last few calls against Clinch is crazy. I'm with you, brother. Jimmy Andrews, this is absolutely ridiculous. Panthers fighting with everything they have. Robbins thought about pulling it. Clayton set up. He'll put up a 12-footer. Got it. Good job by Clayton. Clayton playing with four fouls, I think. 73-66. We are going to take a 60-minute break. We'll be back in just a second. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue will satisfy your craving for barbecue no matter what you're hungry for. Barnyard Barbecue, Douglas and Homerville, Georgia. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Man, we got a crowd watching tonight that said we have 758 people watching. I don't know how we get they, everybody in Homerville's here tonight. <laughs> hey, we got a crowd watching. They probably jammed up there, and that's just, they ain't no telling how many is that Big Daddy's up there on 84. Or piled in at Dre's Snack Chat. All right, the Dairy Queen watching. 73-66, he'll miss it. Ingram with the rebound. Panthers still living, barely. 2.05 to play, clock running. Oh, Bryant should have pulled it. Got it to Clayton, he'll throw it up. Boom, got it, a big three. Panthers needed that. 73-69, four point game. Panthers still, they will not go away. I don't know how we've hung around. And he's got it. We tipped it as a turnover. Ingram with it now. Panthers give it up to Robbins. Here comes Tucker. Back on this end. He's going to look. He's going to drive. Throws it to Bell. Robbins saves it. Oh, Terrence just shakes his head. I don't know what the call is. I reckon he stepped out of bounds. Man. Blake Pittman said he'd give him a piggyback ride halfway down the court. All right, here we go. Indians with it. Panthers trying, he's wide open. Let's see, 10 second violation. Panthers will take over. All right, here comes Clayton. Panthers 119, clock running. They need a basket. What's the call now? He blew his whistle so much his lips look like a grape. All right, here we go. Bale with the ball. He's looking, he's gonna drive in, tried to get him up. Can't get it to go. Oh. King has played a great game for the Indians, man. Great ball player. Oh, Williams, that's Williams, the big man showing out. There's another three, can't get it. King with the rebound, and there he is. The Williams and King show. King, I got to add up all his points. He's got a pile. Panthers are turning over at 75-69 now. Number two's gonna drive in. Bell got it. 
Robbins up there, they can't do nothing. They're all in foul trouble. That was Hamilton with the basket. We got a timeout. We're going to stay right here. 77 69, 42 seconds. Panthers going to come up a little short tonight, but they fought. King has 10, 13, 15, 18, 21. King has 24 points tonight. He has turned it up for the Indians. Big score. Along with Wright. Wright has 11 points. Hamilton with 9 points. Robbins with 17, 21 points for the Panthers. Bryant with 12 points. It's just... They fought hard. Panthers pulled away one time, went up as much as nine points. We knew Charlton was going to make another run here at home anyway. Bryant with the ball. You got to shoot a three, and he'll throw one up. Can't get it to go. Williams with the rebound. Clock running. That's going to about do it. He'll throw it over. Another three. Oh, in and out. Can't get it. Bale with the rebound. He tries to dribble through. He gets them up. He's going to drive in. Oh, he said he traveled. Won't count. Allen Clayton said the ref, oh boy, I have no dog in the fight. Let's get a bucket, Carlos said. Here we go. They passed it back. That's going to do it. Dollar Bill says, check it, let it ride. Panthers, are you serious? Says, no reason to hold your head down. We'll get them back when they come to Homerville, so it doesn't matter. What a game. This is what you expect when you get two good teams. The Panthers will fall to 9-3 on the year. The Indians will improve to 15-1. So we'll take a break and be back Friday night Man, what a game. It's going to be a great girls game. You need to get there at 5 o'clock if you want to get a good seat. But if you can't, pile in anywhere around. They got Creek Box and we'll be live. God bless you. And as Mr. Barron used to say, y'all tell someone about Jesus. God bless you. Be safe. We'll see you Friday.